Hey everyone, so a question I get a lot is, has to do with plant spacing and then how many plants we can fit in the whole greenhouse. So that's what we're gonna go over today. And often I think these questions are being asked by people who are trying to calculate the, the profitability. They haven't built theirs yet. They're uh, looking at it, you know, as an investment. So more on that at the end of the video, but we'll just get into it here with the basil. We have four rows of 36 whole rafts. The spacing here is about five and five eighths inches. And these rafts are two foot by four foot. Here we have two rows of arugula, another two rows of 36 whole rafts. And then this row is mainly romaine, which is planted on 18s. 18 whole rafts, we'll get into those later, but that is an eight by eight inch spacing on our romaine. These rows here are a 38 whole raft for these four inch pots. And we just made these ourselves with the hole saw, which would be these just, uh, this is two inch insulation, but we've switched to inch and a half because inch and a half fits through the raft washer. And then here, this is more 36 whole rafts. So this would be seven rows. And this is the spring mix. Once again, the 36 is a five and five eighths inch spacing. It's kind of what we're working with on spacing there. And then this is second nursery here. So these plants are going towards the back and then they'll get transplanted and go the other way. But we have four rows of 72 whole rafts here. And a 72 whole raft is a four inch. All right, then here we have some more spring mix. This is mirror and bib and it gets nice and heavy. Let's see if I can get, get one of these out. But uh, this is a 36 hole raft as well. The majority of these are. That would be five rows here of a 36 hole raft. There's a few 28s mixed in there, but not many. Let's just call it all 36s. And then this is the bib. And this is planted on eight inch spacing. So an eight by eight. And that's what these here are. This is everything that grows out to maturity to a full head is on, is on this big spacing. So that'd be the romaine over there, butter here and then the green leaf and red leaf. So for this pond, we have six rows of the 18 whole rafts, five rows of the 36. And then here, this is a little funny here, but we have these 28 whole rafts, which are the same spacing as the 36. They have this little blank strip along the side. So they're not as efficient with space. And it's a long story how we got those rafts. But anyway, we have some of them. And that's what these two rows are. So we have two rows of 28s. And we grow these, these 28s we grow for our trio pack. Um, and the reason why we like to use the 28s here is because of that little gap along the side, these two rows move a lot faster than those two rows. So they end up getting pushed along and with that little gap, it just makes it really nice. Uh, the plants don't tear each other up with the leaves as, they're, as we're, they're sliding along. And we handle that with this pipe. This pipe makes it really easy to push these two rows forward you know, at a faster rate than these. So that's two rows of 28s. And then here we have nine rows of 18 whole rafts. So that's the bulk of the, the weight would come out of this pond. The green leaf grows the biggest and heaviest for the most part, um, definitely the most volume. A little bit of red leaf in here too at the same space. Okay, so talk about uh, profitability just a little bit. In 2025, a person should be making over a dollar per square foot per week, is my opinion. We sell to restaurants and grocery stores and we deliver our own product. So, you know, if you're doing retail straight out of your greenhouse, you're gonna be a lot more than that. But you're gonna have more overhead. And then if you're doing um, selling to a wholesaler, yeah, it's gonna be a real struggle for you to hit those numbers. But, you know, theoretically, you're, uh, cost should be lower you know don't have delivery and you often don't have packaging so anyway that's the that's the state of that so there you have it all these ponds together equal 9288 square feet 